Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and today I wanted to give you just an update, uh, like a mid-year check-in as far as um, what I'm currently using uh, compared to what I started off the year using. <laughs> um, because as you know, they sometimes change with our needs and our preferences. Let's go ahead and um, I'll sort this here. Let's go ahead and just start with my regular planner. This is if you watch my channel, you know, you'll know I'll know this already, but um, this is my main planner, Hobonichi Kazunovac. It's currently what I'm using and really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I, it's, I have not a lot of decoration in here, which is totally fine <laughs> uh, compared to some years. The decoration that I've done is significantly more, but I loved this vellum and how the yellow of the stars kind of balances the yellow of the inside. Usually I cover the inside of these um, books because it's just, it's not very pretty. <laughs> but this simple vellum here from the Coffee Monsters Co. I think just kind of balances it. And yeah, so right now I'm leaving it like that. And then I have this here, this is how it's been since I um, set up the planner itself. And I'm still trying to figure out what to put here. I was looking for some sort of sticker. I may just have to make something um, to cover this. Maybe something that I can write on to make it more useful. I have not started filling this out yet a whole lot. So, I have my board meetings in here and that's it. and then I've got my husband being on vacation this last past week um, but yeah I need to get working on that just kind of get those filled out and basically what I'm doing with this is just the same as I was doing in Mystology and if you watched my setup video for this it's also still the same I'm going to use it for appointments birthdays um, holidays, vacations, things like that, so that I can just open it and look here, sort of like a future log. And then I get into the monthlies, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I haven't started filling out July yet. I'm, I don't know. I have all my stickers here, sticker sheets. Um, but yeah, I need to, need to get that filled out as well. And then I'm going to get August decorated got a couple kits back here that I couldn't really decide on from Mandy Lynn Plans. I've got a really, really pretty floral one and then the watermelons. I'm kind of partial to the watermelons just because it's so summery and I figured with this one I could always use it you know in a different month and just cover this up with another sticker for the correct month. So if I don't end up using this one for August I'll just repurpose it and use it a different month. And just cover that. So let me know in the comments below which one you think I should use, the watermelon or the floral. So I'd really appreciate your feedback. So I've got those. I need to get that uh, sticker kit laid out pretty shortly. I like to do them, you know, in the middle of the month, just uh, looking ahead so that I can have all the stickers laid down and fill out anything that I have uh, on the books already. So I will probably uh, do that in a video as well. And then just the rest of the monthlies here. I've got the weeklies so far. I need to fill out the rest of this weekend. And then here's my weekly for next week. So that I just filmed. Um, then back here. So the Hobonichi Cousin, if you're not familiar, has a has monthlies, weeklies, and then it has daily a daily section back here. So you've got a day on each page. I'm using it uh, just as blank pages. So as an inbox catch-all area. So you can just kind of see, I do, I just cover up the uh, date with washi. Just do a pretty simple um, like running to-do list for the week. It kind of helps me organize. I flip back here to the week that this corresponds to. So with this 
sticker kit from Shine Sticker Studio. I didn't have um, a sidebar. So it, this helps me to keep my running to-do list organized and um, you know what I need to do and then incorporate it into the weekly. Now, when I have the running to-do list here, it's not quite as um, important, but I still do use it and uh, just can go into more detail on these pages than I can on these. So that's how I'm using it. And so far it's going really well. So I, I don't, yeah, I just cover it up. I don't white it out. You can see the date through there. It doesn't bother me. Uh, and then back here I have my homeschool section. I just got some vellums put in. I made these tabs here. Um, so yeah, then we I just track our homeschool year. We usually start, uh, my birthday is on the 6th of September. So we usually start the following Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Um, but we usually start it that week of September. And then I just have the months laid out and I'll decorate those as I go. And then back here, I just put in another piece of acetate here. This one is from Brooke Ever Prince, some uh, washi from the Planner Society, just to kind of separate out this section. And this is just, has that extra notes sheet and then these little guys back here. And then I have this folder back here from Hobonichi that I use to hold my current kits that I'm using in my weeklies. So that is my main planner. So that is, it has changed since the beginning of the year in the sense that I was using Astology through June and um, it was full, so I needed to switch a planner. But basically it's exactly the same setup, just a cousin versus Astology. So there is that one. Now for my journaling, I was using I was using this at the beginning of the year and then I switched to it was just too small for I'm gonna show you some of the journaling pages here. It was just so small for um yeah, I just felt really crammed. So I switched to the A5 Hobonichi Day Free and that's been work, working really well. What I've been using this for um, in addition to my, I, I guess I call this my journal supplement. I don't know. Um, this is just somewhere that I can jot stuff down and I can decorate it if I want. I don't have to, you know what I mean? So it's just kind of, um, it's a supplement. I will use this as I go through the week and fill things out and then um, use this to do my A5 journaling. The problem I had with the A5, it wasn't with the A5, um, but I was going along and I got to the middle of April and it was prom and I thought, and my daughter had a date to prom, her and one of her friends went and I thought, you know, I had so many pictures that I wanted to journal with, but I'm like, I can't they're all with him, right? And I'm like, I can't put somebody else's kid in fa kid's face in my videos. So I was like, what am I gonna do? So I just ended up um, deciding that I was not going to do the journaling videos anymore. If, I don't know if you noticed that I had stopped doing those, but that was basically why it was, I would have to cover up, I'd have to have so many sticky notes on the page and to me, it's just, it's annoying for me to look at. And uh, yeah, I found myself really struggling with journaling with pictures because I would have to cover them up. And it started with prom. And I ended up just journaling it, journaling about prom um, on my own without doing a video. And it was just really freeing, I guess. I don't know. I just realized I was putting a lot of pressure on myself with those pictures and I really want to protect other kids, um, privacy. And so I just, um, decided to not do journaling videos anymore as far as that goes. So all of that to say that this has been working really well for me. I will, um, journal in this throughout the week and then do my journaling in my A5 uh, when I get a chance. So, and here's where I 
it was prom week that week. And again, I didn't add pictures, but I will probably go back in and add those. I need to get more printed off first. So yeah, that's what I've been doing in here. Supplement, supplemental journaling. Um, and then back here, just, I did some washi swatches from my Coffee Monsters Co. Washi collection. And just had this little notes page here. So it's just kind of a place I can do whatever I want and just kind of be creative. And then I have these um, date covers from Shine Sticker Studio uh, in here that I can use to cover the dates. So that is my journal supplement. So what I ended up doing or adding in was junk journal. And this has been really fun. And I did one for the month of June. And I did a flip through of that. I'll link that in the cards for you if you're interested in seeing that. Flip through of that one. This is my journal for July. And I actually made this um, journal out of a paper bag, like a grocery sack. And I used a kit from Linda Israel. She does a subscription box every three months. And it was uh, dragonfly, th dragonfly themed <laughs> for that month. And um, so I made a journal with it. And I have a flip through, well, I have a whole um, process, a collection of process videos where I showed how I made this and um, I made it into a playlist. So I will link that below in the description box uh, so that you can check that one out if you want to. But I did do a full flip through of it and I'll do another flip of it as I, um, probably the end of the month. That's what I did for June and I think it worked really well. So once I get it all filled out, I'll flip through it. So what is this journal? <laughs> this is just a place where I can um, do some art journaling if I want. I can do little projects, junk journaling projects. In here, um, I have been using prompts from a uh, Instagram account. And I actually talked about this in my June uh, journal flip as well. So sorry if this is a repeat. Um, it is, I think it's called Journaling Prompts 2021. And I will link the um, Instagram account below in case you wanna check that out. I like it because they give you three different options for each day. So you can kind of choose which um, prompt you wanna use for that day. And it just kind of gives you a, a place to start. So that's what I've been doing. And where this is more memory journaling as well as my A5. This is memory journaling. This is uh, more like feelings-based, I guess. So that is what I'm doing with that. And then the last thing, this is kind of a new addition. Um, I am on a couple PR teams and I was just kind of wanting a way to organize um, posts and things that I need to make for those company, for those shops and also a way to track my um, like Instagram account and um, like followers and just random stuff like that, just more numbers based. Uh, I got this from Sunshine Sticker Co. I won her, um, one of her prizes for March Madness. And this is one of the things that was, it was one of the prizes. And so uh, it's just a dot grid a slim dot grid notebook. And I thought I would start using this to kind of organize um, my, like I said, my social media stuff and then PR things as well. I think my, in my head anyway, this is kind of what I was thinking of doing like a monthly spread so that I could kind of keep track of what's happening. Like if the shop is gonna have new releases or $2 Tuesday or whatever just basically a place that I can go to have all that information that I don't have to go to each individual shops like Facebook group or um, search for emails or whatever to know kind of what's going on. That way I can make posts and, and share things accordingly to what those shops have going. So I was thinking about a monthly spread and I might do one. So I'm on three different pre PR teams. I've got Mandy Lynn Plans, Shine Sticker Studio, and Paper Echoes. And since this is a small notebook, I think what I might do is do a monthly calendar for each individual shop, just because this does not give you a whole lot of room. And that way I can just go to each individual one and not get them confused with each other. 
So I think I'll have an individual monthly calendar for each of those. And then the next thing I was thinking is of doing a weekly spread. Um, I, I haven't, this is the part I haven't quite figured out yet. I don't, I don't think I want to do an individual weekly spread for each shop, but I need to kind of figure out how to divide this into days. Um, or maybe I just do like, um, kind of like what the, the weeks, how the weeks is laid out where I would do like this type of bot, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. And then on this side, make a list like paper echoes, um, new releases, put the date. And then if I post about it, I can make a check mark and kind of organize that on this side. So make it laid out like that. I kind of just need to use some different uh, layouts and just see what works the best for me. So I might try that one first because I feel like if I divide these into, into individual days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't know. Um, this is a, a new size for me as far as like having it be a blank notebook. So I have to kind of figure that out a little bit, but I think I might try that first where I have the week on this side. Then I'll have this be uh, more of a notes and um, lists and stuff like that on this side. So anywho, that is what I'm doing. And this cover is also from Sunshine Sticker Co. So you can see that there. And then it has the little um, closure, elastic closure here. She's got a little pocket back here. I don't want to rip it. <laughs> it's kind of held down by this um, cover, but little pocket here that you can keep some things in. And yeah, and then this has a little pocket up front as well. So, all right, so that is my update. Um, I had been using the Legend Planner uh, for the first, I don't know, the first several months of the year. Uh, I felt like, I just didn't feel like it was helping me and I don't know if I just got overwhelmed with it, but I have stopped using that. I don't know, I might go back to it. It's it's on my shelf. I haven't thrown it away or done anything with it. So it's there if I, if I need it and um, I might go back to it, so. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will try to get everything linked below and if I forget something, just leave me a comment below. Let me know um, what you what you need. So, all right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later, guys. Bye.